All right, welcome back. Today, inside of Adobe Photoshop, we're gonna take a look at the clone stamp or the rubber stamp tool. And so I have done previous videos on other channels and lots of complaints that the video was too long. So today we're gonna keep this short and sweet. Today, we're gonna take a look at a couple of really cool functions. One of which is how to rotate your brush, how to flip your brush. And what we'll find out is this can be super helpful when you're trying to fix areas inside of Photoshop, because yeah, sometimes you wanna do it to recreate something and things don't line up perfectly. So let's dive on over in here to Photoshop and take a look at the clone stamp tool. All right, so we are right here and we've got this wonderful cat and I picked this just cause it's eye was closed. And so we're gonna do a couple of things. First of all, I've brought the window for clone source out here so it's easier for everybody to see. If you don't have the clone source, you can simply come up here to window, drop down to clone source, and that's gonna pop up. Your clone source is over here. It's that little rubber stamp that we see right there. That's what we want. Up here, you'll notice we've got a bunch of stamps, and what this allows us to do is to create different cloning areas so what this means is with stamp one, we can come over here, I can hold the alt or option, I can get that and that's gonna clone the eye. Then I can come to this area. If I wanted to clone the nose, we can click the nose and then we've got the nose. If I wanna go back to the eye, we go back to the eye. If we go over here, we've got the nose, we've got the nose. That's how we use the multiple stamps on the clone source window to clone a variety of areas inside of our image. All right, so the next thing we're gonna take a look at, one thing that happens in photography a lot is sometimes you take a portrait and their eyes are uneven, one eye is blinking and closed, and you wanna make both eyes more, and you wanna make both eyes more similar to each other. So what I did is we took this cat right here, and in this case, we're gonna to wanna to clone the eye. So I've made this way too big, so I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this down and I'm gonna make the brush a little bit softer. So you can see what I'm looking at is just that eye. I don't wanna make it too much bigger because when we clone, remember the clone source moves. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the eye. So just one word to the wise, whenever you clone something, then you click and you hold your left click down and you drag, the clone source moves as you move. So it doesn't keep cloning the eye, the eye, the eye, the eye, the eye. If you click and hold, it will keep creating around that area. And that's actually gonna work good for this image. So I'm gonna hit Command Z and undo that. The first thing I'm gonna do, and this is just a smart way to work over here in the layers panel, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna create a blank layer. And what this is going to allow me to do is if I mess something up, we can just delete it or create a mask and fix it. Got this blank layer, we've got our rubber stamp tool and we're gonna come up here to where it says sample and we wanna make sure all layers is sampled because if you try to just sample a blank layer, you'll get nothing. So we're gonna come over here to the eye. I'm gonna hold the option because I'm on a Mac, otherwise you will hold alt because you might be on a PC. And we're gonna click that and we're gonna get the eye. And now if I come over here, I can recreate that, but yeah, that doesn't look right. And if we come up here, you'll notice we have width and height, and this will allow us to flip the clone source. This is very similar to going up here to edit, transform, flip horizontal. It's doing the same thing, but that would do this image here. Actually, we could do it that way if we wanted, but that's what this is doing. So we're gonna click this little symbol, so we flip it. So now when we do the eye, you can see, ah, it's in the right direction. It's not in the right location, but it's pointing in the right direction. So what I'm gonna do is just make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna hold that option down, click that target, and we're gonna recreate that eye. And with the eye bigger, I can see more of what I'm doing. So I want that eye to be about there, and we will just slightly brush that in, and just like that, we've recreated that eye. Now, What happens if I wanna recreate an eye, head isn't even? So what I'm gonna do is just undo that. And this is where the rotate comes in. 
So we can also flip horizontal, but right here is your rotate. And this will allow you to basically manually rotate your eye. So if I come up here and I target this and we go up here, and this is the problem, you can't see what it's doing, but I'll do this a lot. You can see it now made it pretty much level because I rotated that eye. So if I come in here and I did that, yeah, it rotated the eye, but that's not helping in this image. Now, you can't see what you're doing when that happens, so we're gonna click right here and undo that. And this is the trick of this video. So we've got this image, we're flipping it the correct way, and what we'll do is we'll do this up in the blank space so it's easy to see what's going on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our keyboard. If you're on a PC, you're gonna hold the Alt and Shift. If you're on a Mac, you're gonna hold the Option and Shift. And then you're gonna use the greater than and less than arrows. So above the comma and above the period. Now, the trick with this is if you just press it real fast, it will not move. It moves really, really slow. So I'm basically gonna mash and hold down the right arrow and you're gonna see that eye start to slowly rotate. See how it's rotating clockwise? And if I let go and I hold, hold the left key above the comma and do that, it's going to slowly rotate that counterclockwise. So that's how we're rotating our image. So if I want to take this eye and I say, uh, I wish that this eye was counterclockwise a little bit more, I can hold the option, shift and hold that. And I can come down here and I could find that place that I want to put that and then we can just apply that eye right back in. Tilted that or shifted it just a little bit. So down here we have show overlay. If you just want to know what this means, basically when you come in here and you target something, it's not showing it even though we could apply it. So if you want to see the clone source, you need to make sure that that is selected. We can change the opacity. So if we wanted to do it at less than 100%, and we can also change the blending mode. You can also invert it and make it a negative. I don't know why you would do that, but you could if you wanted. And that is how you work with the clone source panel inside of Adobe Photoshop. And this is really great whenever you need to clone something and things don't line up perfect and you wish you could just rotate that source a little bit clockwise or counterclockwise. If you found this video helpful, and could give me a thumbs up, that would be great. If you have any comments or questions, you could always leave those below. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day.